so we won't put it up here. Yeah, um, you know, we're sad to see it uh, come to an end. Um, I thought St. Joseph's was really aggressive, um, very active. Uh, they played well and, uh, you know, did enough to, to rattle us. And uh, just unfortunate that we're uh, not moving on. What was the take away the perimeter? Yeah. You wanted to back in the perimeter instead of doing shooter. Was that more just a matter of shooting? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, obviously I'm in the moment right now, but I felt more like they took away the paint more. Like we couldn't get, um, I don't know, Michelle didn't take a shot until fourth quarter, I think. So I felt like their disruption um, there was a little bit more effective. Um, we had wide open looks from three early that didn't go. Um, then I thought that caused them to be more aggressive. Um, and then they were a little bit more active with nine and getting us off of our spots. Um, so I don't know, that's based off the of feel, right? Um, yeah, there was, um, you know, obviously I didn't communicate it well enough. Um, was, um, they, we didn't do it. So, um, you know, just got to make sure that everybody hears, um, the call, but, uh, it was unfortunate because we had a lot of time there and, um, definitely wanted the ball, um, to get to Leilani. Um, she's typically who has the ball in those situations, but I just needed to be more clear. And then he looks back a little bit. Uh, I know it's hard after a loss, after a season ending game, but can you talk a little bit about what your time here at Dallas is doing? Um, yeah, I really wasn't supposed to be here. Um, um, just really recruited a new major team, and so they took a chance on me, um, which is why. Stay here on my five years. And I mean, you've seen it in my stat line. Like, I really just progressed each year, and I can be happy with how many games we're in for sure. Well, you didn't have one of the better games this year. Obviously, you'd like to see it in the win, but uh, was the way the season went for you personally kind of validate the decision to come out last year and play with the Dumbo Um. Yeah, I mean, we always talk as a team how we don't. Um, value ourselves on on performance on results but on the process and um it's been great to see this team grow um through injuries missing people and and everything that's been put in our way and we still managed to find ourselves in uh postseason play we still managed to find ourselves in a very competitive pac 12 tournament so um just uh proud of the process and and, and how far we've come It's hard right now, you know. I'm just sad. Uh, I don't. I want more time with this group. Um, you know, that's the nature of sports. It just happens. Um, I don't know. Just in this head coaching journey, um, there's so many different experiences, you know. And I've learned a lot from this team, and I continue to try and grow and be a better coach every day. And they challenge me in different ways all the time to do that. And I'm, I'm grateful uh, to have the players that I have that are passionate and, you know, some, you know, in, invested and thoughtful and, you know, playful and all of these things. Um, as a head coach, it really is your family. You don't have a lot of time outside of this. And so this group is extremely important to me. And, um, I just hope I did, you know, uh, I hope that they are as proud of, as me, of me as I am. Yeah, it's gotta be tricky to navigate this world of NIL. The rosters change so much, turn over so much every year. You run into some deep this year, like Marta mm -hmm. and Juana and some others. I'm 
guys won six more games this year, so obviously we've seen some progress. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this is a good building block to be able to take the program to another level and shoot better than ACC next year? 100%. I, I think this was a huge step, and I think we'll be even better next year. Um, I'm excited about, you know, the potential prospects that are out there and the ones that, you know, we should have here um, coming back. Um, and I, I really am excited about the ACC. <laughs> I, I miss, like, the Conference of Champions, the Pac-12 is, like, an amazing conference, and that was special. And I'm not going to enjoy the travel, but I'm not going to miss <laughs> playing against some of those schools all the time. Like, I, I'm okay with some new challenges, right? Um, it's been brutal. It's been really brutal. So, um, you know, we've got 18 teams now instead of 12, and hoping we can be better than several of them. Any more questions? Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you.